It's not so much us winning basketball games. It's learning how to respond to when we win or when we lose. And are we able to, to pull ourselves together and, and step up and go do it again? From gyms and sandlots to courts and mountainsides, millions of Americans play sports. We yearn to compete. The average American athlete spends hours each week practicing, preparing, and playing. Coaches spend hours planning and teaching. More than just winners and losers, sports are a reflection of values. I'm of the opinion that there's great value in sports, that every kid deserves the opportunity, no matter where he or she lives, to play sports. It teaches fair play. It teaches discipline. It teaches you teamwork. To become a successful athlete, especially today in the 21st century, requires a lot of commitment. In Newkirk, Oklahoma, the Newkirk High School Tigers have waited all offseason to get back onto the field. Their test begins here on the practice field. We ask an awful lot out of them. You know, all summer long they were up at the weight room at 6.30 in the morning, um, four days a week. Uh, so they have to work their work schedule around that in the summer and everything else. So it's just a huge commitment. It, it's very demanding. I mean, uh, we have regulations that they have to have a certain grade point average, had to be at school a certain amount of time. Uh, so there's a huge commitment there because the bottom line is we want them to get a high school education. I feel like I'm part of the few who are tough enough to come out here and actually put on pads in this heat and hit each other. It's a pretty big sport in Oklahoma, like OU is pretty big around here and big rivalries about football, but you know, as the people like college more in the state than they do high school, but I feel pretty important. Football may be the state religion in Oklahoma. I mean, in all honesty, uh, there's more talk about football. If you open up the newspaper and everything else, there's more talk about the football than there is about the upcoming presidential election. On Friday nights in Oklahoma, people will come up Thursday nights and put their blankets down, tape them down to the bench, they, to the stand, so they get to have their seat. Uh, and there's some families that have sat in the same spot for years. Uh, and it's that way all over the state of Oklahoma. So, I mean, they just get excited and they live through the boys out there on the Friday night. It's really good to have them up there cheering you on. Uh, it's nice to know someone's up there rooting you on. Even if you mess up, they're there to say, you know, keep your head up and get it next time. I think behind any great athlete's success, behind this great story of any athlete that we know, there's probably a great coach. I guess I had a great coach when I first started in sixth grade and just wanted to be like him. And just, you know, it, every day is just fun. It, like you get to start life over every year and it, it's just great. I don't know how to describe it, it's so fun. One of the most important things about sports, especially for young people in whatever hometown you're talking about, our coaches and strong parents. I think you remember most the good coaches because they were the ones that were more concerned about uh, you being a good person, a good citizen, and not just a good ball player. So everything that I've learned from you know setting goals, persevering, not quitting, uh, going against the odds, uh, believing in myself, trusting in other people, those kind of things. Um, are practiced, you know, in sports when it's done in a healthy, uh, productive environment. In an era of great struggle and strides made by women in sports, a young Donna Murphy, living in Newport, Kentucky, lived her dream of playing basketball. She was honored as the best female basketball player in Kentucky in 1976, an honor usually reserved for the top male athlete. You know, I played the game because I loved it and I wanted to get better. But there were always people who, you know, would look at me as if I didn't belong out on the court. And I, I was fortunate to have a, a college coach and a middle school principal who uh, supported me and cared about me. 
and there were qualities that they had that um, I wanted to have and I wanted to be able to pass on. Coaching basketball means sharing and developing relationships and get people to um, see their possibilities. When I work with young, young ladies, I'm more concerned about them being all they can be and taking advantage of opportunities and learning how to have a passion for something. I cannot even begin to think about who I would be or where I would be right now if it wasn't for playing basketball. If I didn't have the opportunity uh, and many others alongside of me as well as now to be able to express that part of us, that would inhibit us from being who we're meant to be. It opened me up to the world. It, it opened me up to myself. There are so many things that sports in the right environment with the right coaches can do for you. Sports is a way to pull us all in together and to understand all the positive flow that comes from um, supporting one another and being about the same thing at a particular moment. You know, and I, I don't think there's anything that, that can, can do that other than sports.